the the shirt that says I love dogs more than people. Aww. It's on the recliner in my room 104 and I signed it. And then I said, please give her my big black teddy bear for Gigi. I have a huge one, but you can also give it to a child because it's brand new. So. No, you know what? I want to see you out of this place. Well, I'm going to be out tomorrow. You're going to be out tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, I am. Hey. So any of this can go on so Facebook. So tell me about that. Tell me. Because I well, think, uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do a real story about what happens to right. people in the system. Right. The whole way driving over here, I did it. Do you, what you don't know about me? Right. I'm a writer. Oh my God. And okay. I'm, I well, wrote, I wrote a memoir. Right. And it did well, the, I've been on my support many times and so survived the whole lot all, of stuff. I want to know what you survived. Well, what happened after? Um, you? What I want to know is what happened to you after you got married and pregnant. Well, when I got pregnant, I decided I wanted to raise my daughter back in the East Coast, excuse me, and uh, I'm incontinent, so um, that's why I sent to the Teen Minute. And by the way, but, um, do, you need, um, do you need nicotine tablets? Yeah, you got some. They give yeah. them to me every two hours. But yeah. anyway, I, I wasn't a smoker, but then my you nerves can, got you, to you me when everybody stole all my money. Have I have a diaper. <laughs> Stick it. But um, they don't expect me to live a couple more weeks, but yeah. you know what? You can suck on I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm gonna win this again. Yes, you, know? you are. They have told me so many times I'm going to die, but my faith, my faith is kindness, nothing else. No yeah. dogma, no bull. I like the Bible. It's like, don't buy bull, you know? And um, Do you tell people the truth? I yeah, tell people like... the truth. And I have an aneurysm, so everything I think comes out my mouth, which kind of annoys people a lot. No, it's, but, called, it's you know, called being honest and truthful, and people, right, the truth, they, the they truth they is They shrink from that. Like, I made friends with the Marine over there, and I was real upset about the war last night. And he says, oh, we shouldn't step in. And I'm like, why not? We're not going to What help. happened to America? I mean, because Putin is like... To me, he's like Hitler. I mean, look at all those babies that are being... So what happened to America? So we go over, we take I... the weapons from everybody and then tell them to sit down at a table. You know, but um, I was went to South Korea. I thought to do children's charities and the mob that owned Lorem Art to control. Yep. And I couldn't get out yep. um, for a long time. And you know what? And then people call you crazy. Yes. Just, just they didn't believe it. Because you've been through weird things. Right. Exactly. Exactly. They, they you know, said so some people, even Mr. Van Patten wrote in his book that he didn't believe it. And you Mr. Know, Van Patten I, I, I loved a, me. I had, I had a father who tried to do this very thing to me three years right. ago. I got myself a very good lawyer. Right. Well, that's what I'm... Yeah. I have some really good... I want to work on You that know what? I got two character rec references today, and all of a sudden, I'm getting out, and I'm okay, finding my money. Out, when you get right. out, I'm going to help you. Right. Well, remember that. Big black teddy bear's from Gigi, okay? okay. It's really no, big. She, no, she won't be able to eat. Well, she, no, but she'll be able to lay on it and sleep, or you can give it to a lot, child. We'll see, See, a lot of people give me stuff because they know... I saw that outside of your door. Okay, I don't know what happened to it. But um, I, I had to that. leave real quickly. But then the the police keep bringing me to an insane asylum because this man took out a. Uh, um, I'll give you his name. Yeah, give me his name. Because I've forgiven him. His name is Stephen Anthony Simone, and he came down to the little trailer park. I wanted to try that kind of lifestyle, and he came down to buy books because well, I wrote a children's book. Well, sometimes you don't have book. a choice either. Yes, I didn't have a choice. And then for six years, he was pretending to be my best friend. And then when all this stuff happened in Pennsylvania, because I'm a police informant, um, he said, oh, come up here, I'll take care of you. Well, he, he put me in this really seedy hotel. He never even looked at what it was about. And then brought me to his house and abused me a lot. But I've forgiven him. And I've you know what him. happens? Uh, it's, it's trauma on the brain. Right. What right. happened to you is you, you got whooped into a world you didn't know. No, exactly. And, and then, then proven that I have a Willis Circle anomaly that I've never gotten older than eight years old. So I tend to trust but, everybody. Yeah, that, that. And that's the way God created us, to, right? And shouldn't, you know, when you think of George Floyd and the way the children describe it, right. they say, first I was sad, and then I was, was mad. mad. Right. They have the right words. Exactly. But, but if you're an adult and you say but the very same, same thing, thing right, you're there's a something racist. wrong with you. Right. There's something wrong, wrong with, with you. you. And for, even for like the, the way the business has gone, you know, uh, they have these things like there's something that's really been called well, show me, shocking. show me, show me this eight is enough. Yeah, they were just sitting, a little bit. I had it. this letter here, and it was just sitting there, and because um, a lot of people, the police and everything, didn't believe I was myself because I'm so lonely now. I didn't believe that and, that I was myself. You know, and like I said, that was just sitting there, and, and there's a dear, dear, dear friend of mine, 
and my identity had been stolen by a woman named Noelle Waterbury, who kept calling me from everybody, everywhere, saying that she's she my real in... adopted daughter. And then she was using my credit cards and stepping off of my elders. Read me the real thing about Well, I'm going blind, so I can't see oh, can it. Can I read it? Yeah. Let me see. Well, it's mostly about Willie. Um, Is this Willie? But yeah, that's yeah. He played Tommy on the show. I love Aww, him dearly. You love but that him was dearly? the Is Enough cover. And I, I did get to do a lot of eight is enough things. That what irritates me the most is people keep calling me an overachiever. To me, that means everybody else is underachieving. I know. Yeah, you know, then they put you away for that. You know, and I could play the eleven you instruments by the time I was four years old. So why do they call me an idiot, Savant? I'm sorry, I was running from a gun and my nose got broken here, right. so it runs. But That's um, all right. anyway, this is what I wrote. Please give Shannon in 102 the shirt that says, I love dogs more than people. I came to Syracuse. I was here one week, and someone came up to my face and said, we got you now. And then he called the sheriff because of a shirt that I was wearing. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that dogs, like your dog, you know, he could smell that I was incontinent. He could smell. She could smell that I was sick, but she would kiss me oh, all over. You know what? Gigi, you know? Gigi has an enlarged heart. Right. She takes medicine. Right. And she is also incontinent. Right. So, oh my goodness. So so so, so she so, knows. And I was like, she so must, she must have known. She must have known. So I I I I just and I've I, had her triple I'm, I'm had triple bypass. I'm and people say to have her alive. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And they don't give me too many more weeks to live. But you know what? I'm gonna fight yeah. this. I've done it before and lived, and there's only one reason that there is a creator. All you have to do is look around. That's why I want to stay here. I've seen so many rainbows and so much beauty Aww. and the churches. I had, I had a nephew who hung himself and, uh, um, five years ago, five and a half. Every time I see a rainbow, right. oh I my see God. him. That, well, that's Gabe. See, I even that's called. That's Gabe. Yeah, that, that's so, the name of my favorite puppet. It's in right. my room. You'll so see it. So when you see a rainbow, you say, Gabe. And you know what? Adventure wrong, right. Gabe. Well, I have. When you go to my room, because I want you to get this shirt that I uh, almost got arrested for wearing, and I did. And mm -hmm. then uh, the bear for Gigi. You know, and look around my room. I don't um, need to almost, look around the room. Well, I want you to open a suitcase because people be, keep I'm saying I miss their money, but I'm people gonna be give there me. three more days, so, people. so I'll be there when you get back. Okay, well, I want you to go in the room tonight. Well, I'm not, I want, they're not going to let me in. Well, I wrote the note to them, please, front desk, and who to give it to. They let Stephen in, there's supposed to be security, Who's that he was Steven? never, he's the one who abused me. He was not even supposed the to be near the hotel. Guy? Yeah, he was not even supposed to be in there, but he had a key. He but he's like, trying. He's, he's trying now. He he's trying he now. He's nice. Yeah. He was nice. Yeah. Well, that's because shit come to shove. You know, because he beat me up a lot. You know, and, and kept me your, as a pet. Is he your, uh, is he so, and this guy needs to go on Facebook. Is he your caretaker or what is No, he? nothing. It was just a fan. I've been stalked by a lot of fans, and then I trust that they love me, you know. And... I was so nervous to see I you. I love you. Such a I love you as a human being. I loved you that, that fast. When you told me that your daughter and these people did this to you, I said, I have a, I have I'm, a soul I sister. Am, I'm fighting. I am fighting to get my kids out right now. Right. In the next That's week, we I'm have going to. to. Well, I'm going to be, have, the, I'm going to be the most well, hated woman in America, so I'm sending my daughter to well, jail. You know what? I'll be the second most because I'm going to send me when when your when your daughter's in jail she can wave to my right. father because, and my ex. Right, because How you know what? That? They ripped me off, but that's not the point. She she's been ripping me off for years, and then they took a phony POA out on me, so they owned everything. And then Stephen took an executor of a state, so me he not only owns too. Pennsylvania, he owns everything in me New too. York. You yeah, know, that's so you he, can expose this on anything because he'll either go to jail or he'll. It'll, It'll repent. Come out. It'll, It'll come out. Right. It'll come out. So the truth, the truth, the truth's got, got to come out. Right. Truth, truth wins, sister. Truth wins. L A W. That. Well, this is how my grandfather taught me how to hide, salute. Hide, no, Can no, I show no, you no, how? Like no, grandfather, he was uh, an interpreter and he had a passport with swastika on it, but he was a decoder. Yeah. And this is how he taught me to count. When he knew I was a savant when I was a little, and he really took his time. This is how he taught me to count. One, two, three, four, five. See a soldier salute with five. Don't forget the love. No. And Aww. law, law, love always wins. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in this world, but yeah, you know, at the last day, you have to say to God, did I do what I could with what I have? And he'll even say yes that. or no. That's exactly. FDR. Do what, do what you can. With, with the gifts that you were given. Right, right. now. And um, yeah. I don't have the capacity to lie because I'm... 
I have this brain aneurysm. I doubt. So, you know what they gave me someone last night? They accidentally. That's for second. Just so right. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't lose it. So, I didn't know you were a writer. I just loved you well, right off the bat. I, and I love people I, that know what? fast. I, I'm not really like a writer. I just write. Yeah, but I get this to, out. Get this but I, out. I write about things that are intriguing to right. me. That whatever. Well, this was sitting hand. right by this letter, and I was like, I write oh. about. I write about. I've been making a website and a blog about all the injustices. Well, get all this. The truth. Too. And then, see, yesterday I came out. Now, Mr. Simone has an incontinence problem. He's also a narcoleptic, and so why, you know, he shouldn't be driving. And I keep telling him that. And people drive through parking lots all the time at sixty miles an hour. They're going to kill a child, and I spent my life seeing these children, and so maybe the insurance pays, but how can you have an invisible eye that sees, you know, he's saying, oh, I've never killed anybody yet, but look at all the killed children and people that have been killed in parking lots because somebody either won a parking lot. Look what's going on in the world. So they the shoot each other so over what is, How did you get end up here um, the hotel? Because they keep calling. I, I have a, a, a phone. And the urgent response is supposed to be for medical. And every time I push urgent response, they bring me here for being crazy. Every damn time. And the police, when they knew I was in CIFA, they, they, they said, fuck you, basically. They said, you're not Susan Richardson, you're too ugly. And they called me demented because I just got out of CIFA. But I've been cleared three times from CIFA. CIPA, is that what it's called? I don't know. Yeah, it's for the, and I was in a place for the criminally insane. I'm 90 pounds, I'm incontinent, and I'm dying. And I'm in the room when a person is supposed to be, it's the called criminal, a one-on-one. -on -one. The criminally insane are in office. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I hate exactly. to tell you. But they're, they're I, ones, this man came into my room. The criminally insane are the ones who write the PAs. Okay, I want to tell you about this John Nelly. He was supposed to be on one-on-one. -on -one. He came into my room at SIFA, and he said, look at my teeth. And I said, why? And he said, 